Good morning everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to the Finca. It's a beautiful sunny day, which is a good thing because those of you who saw <laughs> Sunday's video um, know that we had a fire in the junction box um, of the solar panels. Um, I've had extensive chats with um, an electrician friend of mine uh, in Sweden. Thanks Ricard for all your help. And um, it seems that the cable running to the house was too small. Um, when I initially sized the system, I sized it for the six panels that we originally had. And then, of course, Paul and Anya from Fortuna Logica kindly donated us extra panels, um, which I decided to add two of them. Um, to the, We had a, an array of, six, array of four <coughs> and an array of two, and I decided to add two to the array of two to make that the same as the other one. Um, I carefully checked the inverter inverter charger to make sure it was capable of uh, handling the extra two panels which it was um, but silly me um, I didn't check the the cable that joined the panels to the inverter charger <coughs> and it turns out it was too small it was all right for when we had seven and but then when we added the final eighth one that was what did it so stupid mistake um, no harm done apart from a lot of expense we're down to four panels money, right and currently we're only on four panels mm. while we're waiting for the the bits to arrive i spent the bulk of yesterday figuring it all out and i'm sourcing the stuff and most of it should be here today and the cables are scheduled to be here tomorrow um so what i'm going to do now i did say on sunday i'm sure but i'm going to split the th there's going to be three arrays two of four panels and one of five panels and i'm going to split them each with their own independent charge controller so the load on each set of cables and everything is way 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 below what it's, it's designed to take um it's good that we know what caused it really you definitely. know it's, it's definitely it's always we nice. can avoid it happening again once you know yeah, why it was, it was caused a, in the first place. Stupid, stupid mistake, you know. So I checked everything apart from the cable. So bear that in mind if you're upgrading your yeah. solar system, make sure your cables are up to the job. Yeah. Um, so that's that really. So we're on reduced power at the moment, and we've got the generator as backup. But obviously, if we can survive without, you know, running that, it, it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll keep you updated on that. I think today I'm going to have a look at how I'm going to do it. And um, we've got a big length of black pipe, big thick black pipe that I'm going to run the cables through. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll go and have a look in a minute. So anyway, onwards and upwards. Um, we're going to revamp the whole solar system. Um, it's going to give us a massive increase. And um, we've currently been going off about um, two kilowatts and when and all the rest of the panels are installed we're gonna have four and a half kilowatts or well, four thousand four hundred and sixty watts of um, solar which is a, a fantastic amount um, I've spoken to Paul and Gareth at Fortuna Logica and it seems they may have a, a, a five kilowatt inverter charger um, that I can get off them um, because this, when when the panels went, it's blown something in this box. Um, apparently, there's no fuses inside them, um, and it, the inverter's still working fine. We've still got our power. Um, the generator charge part of it is still working fine, which is great. If we need the generator for backup, and I've got a little um, a PWM charger here that's charging the batteries from the four panels. It's currently pulling in 1,068 watts, for just over a kilowatt, which is pretty good. Um, but not enough to get the batteries back up to charge after the night and to run the tools and stuff at the moment. What I'm going to do, hopefully, I'm just waiting to find out if they have got this inverter. Then I can plan what I'm going to do in here. I'm going to keep this one and I'm probably going to put another PWM exactly the same on the wall. Um, for another bank of panels and then put the, the third bank of panels um, into the new inverter charger. So I can't really do anything at the moment until I find out um, where I'm at. 
the stuff's going to be here today. There's, I've got switches, isolation switches, cable, junction boxes, um, another charge controller, all arriving. They should be here today. The cables should be here tomorrow. Um, allegedly, it is Spain. <laughs> um, so I've got a big roll of pipe um, that we used for the the waste pipe um, left over. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it ground level is about here-ish. So I'm going to run it underground behind the stable and up to the panels that way and run my cables inside it. I can't put that in at the moment because it's in one of the outbuildings um, and Emilio's not here at the minute but he's coming up later on so I can get that out. Um, so yeah, not a lot um, I can do with this at the minute. Just watch it charge and... Um, yeah, um, but that's the plan anyway, but it's going to be a massive revamp, a massive upgrade, it's going to give us tons more power, it's all going to be super, super belt and braces, um, to ensure that nothing like this happens again. Right, okay, great news, um, already, uh, as soon as I said that, I've had a message, the stuff is in the locker, waiting to be collected of some of the stuff anyway and um, so we're gonna nip into town and pick it up right okay so we're back um, most of the stuff's here we've got isolator switches and things I put another board on the wall to mount the charge controllers too but they've sent the wrong charge controllers they've sent 20 amp ones instead of 60 amp ones um, they promised me they're gonna be there tomorrow um, and the cable's not here till tomorrow anyway. So in the meantime, I'm going to get all the panels prepared and um, so when the cable does come, we can hopefully get it in pretty quickly, pretty swiftly. Um, so we're going to have a look at the panels. Alrighty, so these are alright. These can go into the junction box. These I need to put plugs on because I had to cut them because I couldn't get the plugs undone because they were the type that have got the the plastic over and I had to do them quickly because it was on fire and I need to stop the power to put it out. Um, so I'm going to put plugs on these and then make up the, the other end um, just ready to go into the junction box and um, yeah see if I can get them into the junction box at the minute but I don't know if I'll have time but at least I can, I'm going to get the plugs on them all ready to go and make up the other part so we've got ends ready to be plugged back in and go into the junction box. So the connectors are back on the panels now. Um, Andy's just got to run some new cable now because he had to cut it. So all we've got to do now is make the other ends of these to come to about here where the, the junction box is going to be. Um, so we'll come back to you in a minute when we've done them. Right, so all my connections are made. Um, they're all ready to go into the junction box and then ultimately into the house. Um, I'm running out of time really to get the junction box in, but that'll be quite easy now. Um, hopefully um, the cable's gonna be here tomorrow. They said it's been packaged and sent, um, if the drivers can find us. And hopefully the um, charge controller's gonna turn up as well. But we're all ready now to send the wiring towards the house, they're all put back together. Um, so we're getting there with it, slowly but surely. Hopefully tomorrow it'll all be sorted, because it's struggling with just a bank of one bank of four. So all the wires are there, ready to go into the junction box. All the connectors are on the panels. I know you can do it differently and wire them all uh, in series to increase the voltage, um, but we haven't got the capacity inside to deal with that. Um, but we're all ready. We've got the generator going just for an hour um, because these four don't give us enough, or those four over there, don't give us enough power for the day to get the batteries fully charged. So while the generator is running, I'm going to um, take the opportunity to cut a few smaller logs up. Remember at weekend, um, I did a load of big ones, said hope for the last a week, but we've still got loads of those left. It's just the slightly smaller ones to get it going that we're missing. So, kill two birds with one stone, we've got the power, the jenny's on, get them cut up. There we go, that should last us a few days now, hopefully. God dear, what a day it's been. Right, so we're all set um, for tomorrow. 
I've had a message from the cable suppliers. It's on its way. Um, the new um, charge charge controller is apparently on its way. Um, so that should be here tomorrow. We should, tomorrow we should have everything and get our solar back up and running because it's not good having to run the generator. So I was even on the wine. <laughs> on the wine, it's been one of those <laughs> days. So yeah, not a lot done today, not much progress made, but we, we get in there with the solar. It took quite a while to do those panels to cut all the wires back and put all the clips on, and the connectors on and stuff. So, um, I hope today's video is better than Sunday's. <laughs> well, it's been a bit better for us anyway. And um, thanks for watching, thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much to all the people that supported us. Um, we will be back tomorrow, hopefully in a happier mood with better news.